looks like a pretty much a regular storage facility here in the front actually really nice brand new well but, but to go to the door that we have to go in in the back this is where we have to go Yes, this is still part of the storage facility. It's not a horror movie, this is still part of the facility. And here is the back. Here is where we load our unit from. At least they do have a, some light, good lighting right here at the door, though. But yeah, kind of strange, huh? everyone welcome back to the channel another day here on red dirt resale we are at extra space storage okay i got a kind of a interesting deal here been bidding on units all day long everything kept i got outbid on stuff and then i had several of them that i was winning they kept getting canceled because the customer would pay up so this one popped up really really nice unit we're down it's an atlanta address we're kind of between atlanta and vinings again really nice area even though this facility here is kind of weird. Look, on the from the road up there, it looks like it's brand new. And then when we pulled around back to this door to load, it's an old, some kind of old building of some sort, warehouse, whatever, that they've converted. But it looks brand new on the inside, brand new on the front. But look, you drive around behind. This is very strange. Drive around this road, then you come back here to this little parking area to get to this door right here. But this unit right here, we paid $1,090 for it. It's a 10 by 25, packed full. Looks really, really, really good. Looks promising. Tons of boxes, tons of interesting looking stuff. As soon as I won the unit, I got in the truck and we drove down here. Uh, just the regular truck. Don't have a trailer, don't have a um, box truck, anything like that. Just drove down here because I wanted to go ahead and get it paid for so this thing didn't get paid up. I got Leah with me. We're here ready to um, take a look in this thing. We're not gonna load. We'll probably grab a few things maybe and just throw in the truck over here, but we'll be coming back tomorrow. But this unit, they told me that um, they've been dealing with this lady for months trying to, of course, them trying to get her to pay, her trying to get them to let her not pay. But let's do the code right here and get in. But they finally, they said they had to sell the unit and access denied okay so stupid when they do this they give you a code and then you go there and it immediately does not work so give us a minute we got to figure out this code and see if we can get in the building here we got in the door they had to let us in from the office but yeah look as you can see everything looks looks brand new in here even though it's an old old warehouse but let's come right down here oh good thing the door's right there and we only have to walk to right here. So this is about as good as you're gonna get on a inside unit as far as, um, you know, distance. But here we go, this thing is 10 by 25 and it's full. If you look back in there, I mean, there is some space in there, but there's stuff all the way from front to back. You do see a, a little bit of furniture, but like right here in the front, We've got some cool stuff. We have a golf statue. Let's turn it around a little bit. Oh, it does have a chip there, but the chip is in place, but a big um, concrete statue. Yeah, this is the top of a chest or something. Let me back up here. Let me let you look some, look again. But if you look right here, a couple of things, the statue kind of intrigued me, this old flag right here. See this American flag with the tassels? This box right here, B52D, Strato Fortress Vietnam, Vietnam. That was interesting. Obviously the huge plane right here. You can see this thing's massive. Like a, I don't know exactly. It looks like I can see wiring. So this might actually be one that actually flew like an actual model plane. 
There is quite a bit of Christmas, it looks like. Atlanta special Christmas tree ornament. Christmas tree Atlanta. Here's a wreath right here. And then um, there's a couple old, really old boxes right here I could see when I was bidding. This one here. Is it wood? What is that? It's kind of a... There's a Christmas tree here falling over. He's about to open it up, maybe. I think it's upside down, maybe. Is it gonna open? I don't know. It's not budging. It's not okay, I'm probably not gonna open it at the moment. You, I mean, it's got a lock there, and all right. So we don't know what's in that one. We need something to get that open. Try this case right here. Is that one gonna be locked? I think that one will open. This one says. General Barnes trombone. Is this like a military person's trombone? There is a trombone. Olds and Son. Los Angeles, California, USA. It's made in Germany. We got the mouthpieces there. Let me set that back in. So I don't know if this is worth much of anything, but. Yeah, here's the other part. If you this is cool, if you open it up here, here's the slide part. I'm not a trombone player, so I don't know exactly what you call all this stuff. And then cup mute. I don't know what this is either. I guess make different sounds. Maybe, yeah. So and then there's the little thing that clips on to hold the music. So it looks like it's all there. That could be another instrument, yeah. All right, there's something, I don't know what, the, like a little cart or something, but it's, I think it's got stuff on top of it. There. So we'll have to wait on that. But, all right, we'll, we'll, we could probably get a couple boxes and put on, you know, and look them and put them on a cart and go ahead and take them right now. But that's about all we're gonna be able to get to. That's Halloween. So maybe, it, at least right in here, Halloween and Christmas. So I don't know if there's gonna be a lot throughout the unit or if it all kind of just got put right here on the end. Some kind of poster or something. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of old like military certificates here, but they're all like from the 50s and 60s. So apparently somebody was in the military back during that time, time frame. So like this is gonna be apparently Christmas. Look at something here. And see, it's just an old Christmas stocking, a Christmas shirt. <laughs> Anne would like that. The Santa shirt. Then we got like a little sitting Santa here. But House of Hatton. Oh, it could be worth some money. So Christmas. It's like several Christmas items here on this end. What is this? Oh, gas cans. So we got a couple, looks like brand new gas cans here. And yeah, there's the nozzle. It's kind of kind of odd. We can kind of see a little bit further in there now. And lots of boxes, lots of furniture. And it goes way, way on back there. So no telling what we're going to find in here. Let's move a couple. Gonna look at just a few more things. This is Halloween, yeah. Halloween. Lots of different Halloween decor there. What's in that box? Christmas. So more Christmas. This is the holiday section in up here. Is this more Christmas? Um, it's like okay, we got La Bon Bière. Is that a, is that an alcohol or is that like I don't know? It's the same thing right there. 
Panera Bread. Here's a vacuum box, but I don't think it's I don't think it's in there. It feels like there's nothing in there. Empty box. This is used for Nick's baseball cards, but it's empty. I want to see what's in these styrofoam things right here. Christmas stuff. It might be Christmas like village houses. Says shells. Shells? Oh, these are shells. Whoa. They're nice shells. A couple of starfish. And some like coral looking things there. So that says beach shells also. That's more Christmas stuff. Over in here, some of the stuff that I can see as far as what it says, that says China Fragile, uh, China, Summer Toys, Crystal Vase. That's about all I can see as far as writing on them. I want to see what this is right here that says B-52D Stratus, Strato Fortress, Vietnam. This one says, what well says, um, it said summer clothes somewhere, then here it says Melda's bedroom. Alright, so, this looks like toiletries, yeah, it's like soap and all that kind of stuff. Um, <laughs> underwear maybe, I don't know. Like you, would you have a pair of boots over? Yeah. A pair of cowboy boots. A little bit worn out, but Durangos. A pair of Durango boots. Alright. So I don't know if this is actually has anything to do with what's in there or not. Because on the top it says Jerome's speeches. That box probably has absolutely nothing to do with what's in here. Officers Association, list of members. Yep, just a bunch of paperwork. Paperwork, paperwork. Um, pretty much, yeah, just... Pretty much just paperwork. What is that? Some stamps. Alright, so there's a lot to go through. Obviously, we're not going to be able to go through much of it all today because we can't really, we don't really have anywhere to take it. That plane is huge. I don't know if you can tell how big it is, but it's about probably about seven foot because i'd say about three foot one foot three foot about seven foot across on this plane right here there's a kiddie pole up there but lots of furniture see like a big antique cabinet right there looks like another antique cabinet of some sort actually i might be able to kind of if i can get right here i can kind of walk back there Let's see if i can chair. see anything Move this, which that says summer shoes. Okay, this is actually it's a table. Oh, this is cool. It's a folding. I thought it was the top of a trunk. See the carvings in this and everything, but it's actually a folding table, like a coffee table, but it folds out. Ow. But if we come back this way, I can get down this aisle now. Boxes boxes bags mattresses all kinds of up oh, and we got a light in here i guess it was a motion sensor we got a big antique cabinet back here some kitchen type cabinets that says earl campbell and b52 i don't know okay and the light just went off 
and an old record player a radio flipped over here and lots of furniture just piled up back here and the light came back on so so a lot more furniture than i i thought there was gonna be i thought it was gonna be more boxes based off of the front i mean obviously there's plenty of boxes but you couldn't really see any of the furniture from the pictures so it was one that i was kind of thinking was going to be mostly boxes but that's fine because we sell furniture i don't know why this light just keeps going off and on but we sell furniture and boxes just the same so or stuff in the boxes all right it's the next day and we're back here to load this unit up i'm here Ann's here we got a u-haul we don't have the big big u-haul because that one's down right now because we weren't u-hauls at the store and that one is um waiting for repair so we have the 20 foot um keith's supposed to be coming whether or not he'll make it we'll see hopefully he makes it here in a minute it's going to be a two load day is, is the plan anyways to get a load of this stuff um take it back unload it and then get another load on the truck not unload it today but just get it you know get this whole thing cleaned out today is hopefully what we'll be able to do but it's a crazy amount of stuff boxes then lots of furniture back in there and probably some other small stuff too but a lot of big stuff in the back a lot of small stuff right here in the front but we're about to get started cleared a lot of the boxes out right here that we looked at when we came yesterday <clears throat> so let's see summer shoes it's taped up but and yep shoes nothing exciting there those are more shells we already opened one of the things and that's what it was that's good here's the kind of little vintage folding table it does does need a little bit of help it's um got some damage to it but it's still pretty pretty cool it's almost like a little game table like you would set up temporarily to play a game or whatever throw what oh. all right let's see oh, this is a i think it's a christmas tree that collapses pull it up and it makes a christmas tree this is what in the world honeywell it's like an air pure is this even the whole thing almost looks like part of them but i think it is the whole thing maybe a purifier or something like that halloween We got a beautiful toaster oven. <laughs> All right, and it looks the plane is tied to the ceiling up there, so we're gonna have to untie this thing to get it down. First, kindergarten drawings. Um, okay, it's like a kid's drawings. It looks like. If that's what it is, and we'll be leaving that behind. They did ask for the personals, but I don't know if that's what it is or not. Put some fabric. This looks like little, like fairy garden stuff. All right, maybe this is the drawings here. I think that's what this is we'll put that over here we already have a whole bunch of pictures and stuff to to leave behind for them okay all right let's see i guess we'll try to get some of these this wall of boxes right here juice and coffee grinder That says, and I guess that's what this is. Something weird. Yep, majestic juicer, golden harvest. It's really heavy. It's like made out of. It's all metal. 
haven't. Notice stuff from the apartment. Need to pull some of the tape off of that. A little desk lamp. Yeah. We got a Texas license plate here. And then some grueling planks. This says crystal, it's upside down, but this does say crystal right here. I like to open that up. Hold on just a minute. Let's see what this is. This is shoes. The shoes, there's a bunch of shoes so far, but they're not good because they're these women's dress shoes and they're older, so they're all peeling and dry rotting and stuff. <laughs> and right here, let's see, this says Crystal bowls, candy dish, rose bowl, all that stuff. Okay, let's open some of these up. All right, here's one of the china boxes. And it does look like that's probably what's in here. It's some kind of china. Not china, crystal is what it said, I'm sorry. Well, it said crystal. Gumps, San Francisco. And then in little it said some kind of china. So some yeah. kind of snow globe. Okay, that looks pretty nice. There's like a couple ballerinas in it. I'm not sure if that name there, if that, you know, if that's anything expensive or not, but. Nice. It's a nice box. Let's see. And then we've got maybe some kind of crystal bowl. Look at the tears. Packaged very well, but I think it was, you know, they packaged it to ship. Because all the shipping information is on the outside of the box here. The Golf Club Blue Water Bay. So it's like a one of these like trophy pieces. The crystal bowl that was given out as an, an award. More stuff down underneath. More stuff here. Several more. Quite a few things down in here. kind of crystal glass maybe yeah it's crystal because it's got the ting mm -hmm. I don't see sometimes you have to look at these things really close and you'll find markings on them sometimes not but whatever the case it's some kind of little crystal set here a couple of glasses and once you pull it out here everything out sometimes you end up with multiple pieces that match each other yeah yeah there's more stuff down here but i'm just gonna open one more thing here and it looks like maybe a candle Holder and this one is Mart. It's a okay, yeah, Shannon Crystal. It's a pair of little flower candle holders. All right, so that's a good box there. Got some nice crystal pieces, and there's more in there, like I said, but I just don't have the time to dig through every sit there and unwrap all this. Don't knock that off, man. <laughs> All right, and there's another box here. This said it was crystal also. Let's see. Yeah, crystal bowl. And crystal rose bowl. We'll open one of these for you to see. I know that's the whole point of you watching the video is to see some of this. I can do it without knocking stuff off. All 
All right. And this is nice right here. Nice piece. Baby Keats here. Oh, let me try to put some of these back in. Because these just end up all over the place. Alright. We got the crystal here. Did you ever open this up? Kind of. Texas. We got some Texas Longhorns. Shirts there. Um, and then looks like um, books maybe. Books. 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 And what do we have under here? Rocks. Oops. But um I've got a few rocks here. Porta Valarata Valarte and um, just some other different rocks. Alright. Looks like they got the ceiling fans here. Club soda. Some drill bits. Okay. And we got this beautiful plastic container with tape on it, but nothing in it here. China fragile. China China Norataki salad plates and dessert plates. So oh, that is what it is. Noritaki is a good name when it comes to China. I'm gonna pull this off so you can see the pattern. Okay, it's just a green and silver pattern there on the Noritaki. I wonder if there'll be more pieces that match that. Cleaning supply. You know, right there that says China. I wonder if that matches up. Unless, unless that's the whole set there, who knows. This one here said cleaning supplies and well, what do you know? We got cleaning supplies. All right, this one shoes, which you know, I don't like getting a lot of these women shoes because they've been in here so long they're dry riding. These are actually pretty good though, these little rain boots. Um, Cole Haan. Loafers, those are all right. It's mainly just when you get those high hills and stuff, when they get old, they just start to fall apart. Dry rot. This says careful crystal vase. And, man, that is what's in there. I don't know if I want to pull that thing, because if I pull that out, it's it's big. All this, all these peanuts are going to come out right now. So we're going to hold off on looking at that. But that is a crystal vase. All right, let's keep looking here, see what we might find. Looks like we're going to have more of kind of the same stuff, China, crystal, all that kind of stuff down this side here. Here's more crystal. That says crystals. I wonder if that means that there's, there's a person named Crystal. I think this is more crystal something maybe. I don't know what is this. Oh, some little, some little forks, and a little looks like crystal, tiny crystal vase. Forks must go with something in here. Some little small crystal bowls okay so lots of crystal crystal is definitely their thing crystals again that looks the same as that box of more small yeah. crystal stuff and it says crystals <laughs> mm-hmm 
All right, this says memories and then it says gifts on one side. So let's see. This is like postcards. Um, hmm, no telling what's in these little. I see some rocks in the bag. Seashells. Lots of seashells. Look at all those little tiny ones. Those are some nice looking shells in there. And yeah, lots of shells. So they definitely like to collect shells at the beach. More seashells. So we had a couple plastic containers that had some very nice shells in it. Antique some antique books and so is it just a case? Look like a record player or something, but oh this is cool. There are some old books in here. Pilgrim's Progress, Swiss Family Robinson, Jane Eyre. Nice design on them, that's cool. We've got the New Old Testament of the Bible, I guess. Let's see. 1953. But then we've got... Man, what is this? For, for Avon's Eyes Only, Love Jerome. Oh. oh, wow, look at this thing. Very old. And there's some very old pictures in here. Like, really, really old. These look like from, um... Look at that. That is cool. Definitely some pictures from 1800s, it looks like. Okay, this thing is just falling apart, though. Sit there for just a second. We have another old book here. Safe Methods, Commercial Law and Business Forms. I'm curious like how old this might be. You want this chair? Yeah. Okay, 1907. So a little over a hundred years. So those usually do pretty good in the auction on the old books. So that's a good box there. And what else? There's something else in this bag here. A piece of some kind of glass. Okay, that's just like a little like glass it's a clear glass like teapot then look at this right here oh, that's cool. something somebody made nice piece of pottery there yeah. All right, probably just put that by itself that don't smash that Nelda, oh, Christmas stuff, Christmas wreaths, other Christmas items. I'm just curious, is this going to be the only plain thing in the unit? Is the big plane? That's kind of odd. That's going to be odd. <laughs> you would think that there'd be something else related to that, but so far, not really at all. I mean, there's a couple military certificates and stuff in the front that showed that somebody was in the military, but nothing really else all right here is the plane no propeller it's kind of cool it's got little guns here that's bent a little bit but and then there's that piece that goes on it it's got wires. I don't know if it was an actual operating thing or maybe they just had a light on it or or what exactly they were doing with it. But either way, it's pretty cool for sure. But I have not found anything else related to that plane in this unit 
at this point. This was some clothes for the beach. I just put them as boxes. Okay. You didn't want to look at them. some of that junk in there. Well, there's so many of these boxes that are just half full. Mm-hmm. All right, this is a box. I wonder if this is what's in here. A mongoose trace air scooter. Is this what's in here? It's been opened on this side. So. taped here but it doesn't feel like it's been it feels like it's still glued i don't know if this thing's ever been open that probably is what's in there because that's glued bottom's glued okay so yeah i guess that's what's in here is this scooter i like this little footstool mm -hmm. it's kind of cool. a little footstool with some yeah. animal print on it over here we got clothes and linens and stuff in some space bags looks like we have a treadmill up underneath here Keith loves treadmills, so that's a good thing. And something here I, on a huge on a stand. I don't know if it's a big floor lamp or what. And then heading back this way, lots of furniture and pictures. Oh, we got a stack of looks like a futon mattress and some other mattresses here. 